There we go. And we are live. Hi, Jude. Merry Christmas. How are you doing? Hey, it's Friday and it's five o'clock and I'm here. I was going to come on earlier today, but um, I didn't want to rush. I wanted to make sure I had everything together and all the stuff ready that I wanted to work with. So, and I got up late. We just hang out too. Yep. Let me get this up on my iPad because when I switch my camera, then I can move it over. Getting all ready for Christmas. Are you all ready to go, Jude? Oh, well, there's the chat. That was weird. It's like all the messages popped up at one time. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Crystal. What the heck? I'm on way, way too early. Hi, Patty. <laughs> yep, I am on early. Hi, Scotty. It's like everybody's, it like popped in all at one time. That's why I need to get it up on my iPad because that's just crazy. Uh, my channel. How's everybody doing this fine early Friday evening? Let's make sure my volume is down. Yep, it is. Hi, Paula. See, I didn't even see yours popping. It's because they all popped in at one time. That was really freaky. How you doing, Crystal? What's up, Lang and Fowler? Hi, Christina. How are you? Hi, Debbie. Yeah, we're going to be um, playing with napkins and images and um, making some ornaments on wood. I kind of um, sent Stephanie Poteet down a rabbit trail with the napkins. Hi, Misty. I don't see her, but hi, Misty. I seen someone said hi. It must have, I must have missed a lot when it just all popped. Let me see. I don't see Misty. Unless I'm blind. Um, so she had sent me a message, I think last Saturday when I was live, saying I sent her down a rabbit trail. And she sent me some pictures of some gorgeous ornaments um, that she made using the napkins. And she did it on wood. And I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, I know how to do the the image transfer on wood, but I'm like, you guys know me. I've used napkins on everything. I don't think that I've used them on wood yet. Hi, Linda. Um, so I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to kind of mix kind of like collaging with paper and napkins and then Mod Podge and then triple thick and glass glitter. And um, I found a tree at Walmart and you're, you're going to hear me for a few minutes. I'm going to talk a mile a minute because I haven't been on in a while and I had a really long week. So um, all my thoughts are going a mile a minute. So me and Cam are at Walmart um, and they have a purple flocked Christmas tree with purple lights. Guess who's getting a purple Christmas tree? A big purple Christmas tree for when I'm in my new place. So I figured I would start making more uh, directions, more um, ornaments. I do have a ton of purple ornaments, but I want to make some special ones for my tree. So I'm being inspired by Stephanie Poteet and what she showed me last week. So I'm going to do it, you know, the raw style, of course, and change it up a bit. That's right. Let's have a party for sure. I just thought it'd be fun to come on. I was going to come on at noon today, but I was up really late with somebody last night. So um, that didn't happen. <laughs> Are you? Oh, I am off until I don't go back until the 6th, Christina. So it's nice, but not having a paycheck isn't nice. All right. Ooh la la vintage treasures. I know who you are. Um. Forgive me. I don't know why. I just want to say ooh la la, but I know who you are. <laughs> Grace, who is it? Who is it? Well, you can tell me because, yeah, my brain's not working on that one. How are you doing? And then I'm going to go, I knew, I knew that. I mean, I know who you are. I just, your name's not coming to me right now. I sent it, Laurel, LOL, instantly thought of you. Oh, you seen it? Yeah. Oh, did you see the blow up unicorn? I'm getting one of those too. Yes, it is a it is a very nice vacation. Um, I do enjoy it this time of year. I only wish that all my kids were here. You know, um, 
I'd like to see Dustin and Dreen and Kalia and Cam all together. You know, I don't know when that's going to happen again. I do enjoy seeing that Dreen and Dustin spend a lot more time together and with Kalia, which is awesome. Um, but I would like to, you know, be able to spend Christmas with all of my children and all of us together. So, hi, Jennifer Jane. Doreen. Why did I not, why was Doreen not coming to my name? Every time you see purple, you think of me. That's awesome. Do you know everybody at work calls me Miss Purple? They don't even call me by my name. And then I had this guy come up to me yesterday. I was um, waiting to start my midday. And he's like, so who is this Miss Purple I've been hearing about? I'm like, well, that would be me. He's like, well, I understand that. He's like, but do you have a name? And I'm like, yeah, my name's Laurel. But no one, everyone just calls me Miss Purple. <laughs> so he was flirting with me a little bit. I have Mickey and Minnie and Snoopy blow-ups. They are small though, not too big. Yeah, this one's like about three foot tall and it's a it's a unicorn and I think he has a purple horn. So, you know, we have to have that because, you know, it's purple and unicorns. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Boy, see, maybe I, I wish I could come on earlier. Everybody seems to be around right now. You get on at eight, nine and it's like everybody's already pooped out. Okay, I'm listening. My hands are busy. Oh, no worries. I know everybody's probably getting really busy being as Christmas is Tuesday. I'm getting going to get really busy with uh, the postman. If they don't bring my packages, it better be here for Christmas. Yay for Laurel. Oh, it was nice to sleep in today, but I have, you know, this new watch. I'm going to grab it so I can put it back on. I have this new watch. I've had it for, you know, since July. And I just recently realized, you know, because Cam does it. That if I wear it to bed, it tracks your sleep for you. It tells you like how long you're motionless, you know, your REM sleep, your light sleep, your deep sleep, and you're awake. So my deep sleep last night was six minutes. Um, my light sleep was an hour and a half. And, uh, and my awake was about eight times. I was in a live and a lady said the purple queen. And I said, you mean Laurel? And she said, yes. Oh, I'm famous. Yay, Jude, I'm famous. <laughs> How fun. You can start making ornaments for next year. Exactly for my tree. So yes, it's going to be fun. And I'm using some um, beautiful purple. Of course, all the napkins have purple in them. So I'm going to be doing that um, with mixed with some paper. I'm going to be using some of... Um, I pull out some. Uh, I think I have a couple of. I thought I had. I have some of Tracy's um, collage paper, and of course I pulled out some of the wonderful Lorna's um, calligraphy paper. So I'm going to do a little bit of collaging. My mind, when I was thinking about these ornaments, you guys know me more is more. So my mind started going, okay, paper, uh, triple thick. Uh, beads, um, dangles, um, my ornaments going to be like, so, you know, I will continue to make them, but I'll try and limit like what I put on each one because I would literally put everything all over, all over the ornament. So, yeah, so it's, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make it crazy as much as I would love it. Um, and I know I'm only going to be able to do one side at a time because triple thick, does take um, a while to dry, but you guys will get, you know, the idea. And I think they're just going to be absolutely gorgeous, especially with the lights on the tree, with the um, the glitter glass or the diamond dust, which is glass. So I have the diamond dust. So I'm going to be, and believe it or not, I do have, but I'm afraid that if I use this, it'll hide the pictures, but I do have um, purple glitter glass and neary, neary, uh, sent this to me from DC Scrap and Rooster. So I do have purple if I wanted to do, I think I might do a couple of the balls and just cover them with this. I think it would be really pretty. So, so yeah, I'm going to make some ornaments. This is going to fall over purple over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's always got to be about purple. Come on. Oh, hi, Susan. How are you doing? So nice to see you. And an early Merry Christmas to everyone because I'm sure we'll all be pretty busy when that um, comes by, but I hope that everybody has a very Merry Christmas. Um, I don't know if all of you know, but this is my most favorite time of year. A um, little bit of a struggle this year because I just have a hard time with, um, 
I'm always trying to make everybody happy and cheery around Christmas. And it's not about the gifts or anything else. I just really enjoy the Christmas season. The lights, I love going into the crowded stores. There's just something about um, this time of year that, you know, same with Cam. Christmas is just my most favorite time of year. So um, I wish it would go a little slower because all of a sudden it's over and I'm really bummed because I love to enjoy the Christmas season. And when you're working and stuff, it's really hard because it's like you work, you come home, you sleep, you work. And then all of a sudden Christmas is here and Christmas is gone. So it gets a little, it gets a little crazy. So I hope everybody is, has, you know, a great time with family and friends and, you know, love, love, love Christmas. It went, yes, it did. It went way too fast. All of a sudden it's here. It's like, wait a second. Is Dustin here? Why do I see someone say Dustin? Merry Christmas. Am, am I not seeing all of the chat? No, he would be blue. I would see him if he were here. He's probably working right now. I I did get to spend like um, an hour, hour and a half on the phone with uh, Kalia last night. <laughs> I'm telling you that that kid, way too smart for her own good at her age. And she's not even two. And, you know, now when I ask her to, you know, say, hi, Cammy, she'll actually go, hi, Cammy. And I'm like, say, love you, Cammy. And she's like, love you, Cammy. So she was coloring for me and every time she'd pick up a crayon I'm like "Ooh, is that orange and she would literally put it like she was handing it to me through the iPad and then the purple crayon and she was giving me all the crayons so it was really cool so we had a good conversation so we're all going to be on um FaceTime together when she opens all of her presents on Christmas hi Jean I am here. Don't make me laugh. I have a, oh, ooh, yuck. Sinus infections. No fun. Knock on wood somewhere. Um, I don't want to be sick around Christmas time. Patty, my grandson Bobby got back from boot camp today. Awesome, Linda. Yeah, my, my um, stream yard chat is definitely going slower than my, um, Oh my gosh, then my tablet, I can't even think. And and I am aware, which I keep forgetting that when you're by yourself, you can go on YouTube. I'm just so used to StreamYard now that I just use StreamYard. How cute, wish could be, yes, exactly. So do I, because she's just growing up way too fast. Yours too, Linda? Yeah, I absolutely love Christmas. You'll be lurking. You'll be silently watching. Okay, Jean. No worries. Hi, Lux. Happy Lux. How are you? Refresh. Refresh. Refresh all and refresh all and Laurel. What? <laughs> what, Jude? Oh, hi, Nikki. Yes, I did start early tonight. Because, you know, uh, us girls are going to get together and craft later. So rather than, you know, being on here late, I, and I was going to come on at noon today. Um, and then I was going to come on at three and I was just procrastinating. So I'm like, uh, uh, five, five o'clock is a good time. So I like five o'clock. Refresh. Oh, I don't need, I don't think I need to refresh. Everybody talk loud. I'm, I'm going to do my, oh, she, we all have to talk loud because Patty's watching and she wants to hear. So she says, everybody talk loud so that she can hear what's going on in the conversation. <coughs> Just woke up and go to sleep soon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually slept in a little and then I had to, Cam's actually working at a barn across the street. So I had to take her this morning. And then she called me and said, I'm done. Come pick me up. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I'll roll over for a second. <laughs> and I'm like, you shouldn't do that, Laurel. And all of a sudden the phone rings again. And she's like, are you coming? I'm like, I'm coming, right? She waited a half hour. I'm like, why didn't you call me back five minutes later and say, um, are you coming, mom? 
I just got off work. There you go. Jude's talking loud. She says, Patty, Patty, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I just, yay, Nikki, you're off work. Yeah, well, I was off today. It was so nice. I'm I'm gonna be a little confused for a couple of days. I'm gonna gonna want to get up at the crack of dawn and go start my car, but it'll be good. It'll be nice to be able to just sit and craft, you know, and not have to worry about going to bed early and rushing to work. So I do enjoy that about the Christmas break. That and the spring break, although spring, no, not spring break. I do that in the summer because um, I want to go to Florida for a little bit longer than I did last year. Loved your sister's little boy. She loved you. Oh, her live? Yeah. Yeah, she's awesome. Except for the meeting Monday morning. Ugh. I'm all off all week and we have to. We'll definitely have to do that, Nikki. We can get on and go live during the week because I'm off too. <laughs> you miss the working life? Yeah, I do enjoy working. Purple love all around. That's right, Jude. Okay, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to switch my, I just like to come on and chit chat with you guys for a little bit. So I'm going to switch my camera and show you what we're going to be working on. I might have to pull it in a little too, so we shall see. Uh-oh, hold on. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it as soon as I plug my webcam in. <laughs> then we'll switch cameras. All right. There it is. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's an empty desk. Okay. So this I have for when I'm, and I have a paper plate because when I'm working with the glass, I'm going to use the paper plate. So I do have these and I think they're going to make perfect ornaments because, you know, then I can hang them with two holes instead of just one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these beautiful um, wood hearts. And I am going to eventually do the other side, but I'm only going to be able to do one side today because that triple thick does take a little bit to dry. So I have those. And then I'll show you the papers. I didn't pull out a lot of papers because, like I said, I'm going to be collaging a bit. So I have some of like here and here. Um, I'm going to be collaging. So these are Tracy's, uh, I think she calls them the tear sheets. So I have some of those. And I have, um, of course, some of Lorna's. I might have, need to print some more of these because I only have four. Of her calligraphy series, which is 33 pages long. If you guys got, want some great ephemera, um, definitely go check this one out. It's 33 pages and a great price. So I will show you. I finished my tag. So before we start, I'll show you. And then I just, this is just a little music piece that I shrunk down. So I have that. And I'll show you the napkins that I pulled out. I also pulled out some purple paper and purple doilies. And let me get this iPad over here. Because see, I started talking and completely forgot. I need to check on you guys too. Let's see. Okay, you're all just chit-chatting with each other. So I just pulled out a bunch of different napkins that have purple in them. So I have this one. And no, they're not Christmas related. I have this one, which is one of my favorites. It's like a blue and purple flower. And I think I pulled out, out another one of these. If not, I can get one. I have this one with those beautiful purple flowers. And this one. Love this part with the stamp. And these flowers. And then this one. And I know it looks blue on here, ladies, but it's a purple napkin. But certain purples look really blue. And then this one. And love, love. I can't remember who sent these to me. Oh, absolutely love this napkin. Isn't it gorgeous? So I have that one. And this one. That's really pretty, but I love the purple flowers. And I've used a lot of these because you guys know I love my purple napkins. And I have this one. And oh, love this one too. And this one. So though that's the materials that um, I pulled out to use. So I'm going to use Mod Podge and the paper. I'm going to do the collaging with the paper and probably put the napkins over the paper. Hi, Louise. How are you? Just trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody. 
I have my contacts in and I can see on the computer, but try, I wish I could make the writing on this iPad bigger. Michelle, let's do this. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And then, um, so then I have, you know, oh, I do have some purple papers and stuff too. This one, love this on here. I'm almost, I'm almost don't know if I want to use that because I want to save it for a tag. And I have this piece. And then I have just some purple paper and some purple doilies. Oh, and I think I might have oh, another purple napkin. Wow, that was really pretty too. Let's see. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, this one with blues and purples. And this one with purples in it. So, yes, I have plenty of stuff to use. I'm going to show you the tags real quick. And then we will get started as Michelle says, let's do this. So I'm I'm going to show you what, what I've done to them. I got them all decorated. Okay, so I think I made, yeah. So these are just the ones that I was working on last Saturday. So I did get them decorated and finished. And these are the ones that I used um, the images on the tracing paper. And this is this one. And these are all like this so that I can put them right on the end of a book. I did get some of them sewn, but not all of them. So that's that one. I just added a little bit to them because I wanted you to be able to write on one side if you wanted to. And then this one. And see this cutout here? I used it up here as the tab for the tag. So that's that one. And I left you again a writing, a writing spot. And then this one. And I added some lace on this one. And this is also in the tissue paper, the word. And then that's the back. And then this one, which I did a little different. This one has um, a book page in between, but if I can't put a light under it. You can actually see through it because they're cut out on both sides. There's the butterflies. They're cut out on both sides and then the newsprint is in between. So that was just another one I did. So that's the tags that I finished that I started last week with the um, tissue paper. All right, so let's get started. So like I said, I'm going to try and do a, a collage. And for the Mod Podge, I just need my glass dust because then I can just scrape it off. So I'm going to do some paper and some napkins mixed together. And you'll see, I just want it kind of collaged together. And I know I want... I like the different colors and stuff, and it's going to be pretty with um, with the once I add the purple. So I'm going to rip this one out. And I've learned that depending on what side you have up, like see here, it's got the white. If you rip in a certain direction, um, then the white stays to the back, not to the front. So. Um, that's what I'm trying to do here just because, and I did that one wrong. I should be coming up. So I'm going to just take this butterfly out and I'm going to go right over these with the napkin. Let's see. How do you get an empty deck still in search of that? An empty deck. What are you guys talking about? There's Michelle again. Let's do this. Oh no, that I need to get further down. Sorry, guys, I need to read this. I like y'all speaking French. I'm trying to teach myself. Oh, I don't know nothing about French. So many French words are flying. I know. I know. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> oh, good, Laurel. The flies. Chat flies. Yes, it is flying super fast. If, if I missed anything, just put it in, in caps, guys. And I'll see it. If I missed you and you came in and I didn't see you, put it in caps because can you see how tiny my chat is? I, I literally cannot read it. So hi, Louise. All right. So I'm going to put this and I will poke the holes through after I get this done. But I do just want to I want this whole butterfly. though. So we're going to go like this. And come around here because I may want to use that writing somewhere else. And I don't like squares anywhere, so we're going to come around that, too. I just wanted to play today, and I haven't really done anything holiday, so I thought ornaments for my tree would be a great idea. 
You mean you don't know? Yes, I don't know anything about French. That's right. Hi, Angela. All right, so we're going to put this one here. And I don't care if I hang over a little because I can cut it off afterwards. So I'm going to break out the Mod Podge. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'm not going to break out the Mod Podge. <laughs> Seriously, right now I can't open a bottle. <laughs> and I do have stuff around. Oh, there we go. Phew. That was scary. Thought I was going to have to go sit it under hot water for a few minutes. All right. And I like leaving it like that because then I run my brush up the side. So we're going to put these down with Mod Patch first. And look, I have a purple paintbrush too. Because if it isn't purple. All right, we need a little more than that. So we're just going to see what kind of mess we can make with these. All right, we're going to put this one. I think it goes that way, right? Which way are the... Yeah, it goes this way. So we're going to put that there, like that. And this is going to be all over my hands and everywhere else, I'm sure. And it's like soaking right into the wood. So if you do this, make sure you use um, enough to soak into it. Yes, they're my favorite too. Who is that? Stephanie Egerton. Hi, Stephanie. Use rubber bands. What am I using rubber bands for? You guys are trying to confuse me. Yeah, I love these paint brushes. And they're, they're not a bad price either. And you get quite a few of them in the package. So I'm just going over. I'm not going to worry about the edges because that's going to get cut off anyway. I just kind of want to do a little bit of collaging. And I was thinking about putting a little fabric in here too. But again, I don't want to get all carried away. Because we know how easily Laurel can get carried away. So we're going to get a piece of the purple, one of these. I'm going to put a piece of this in there. Hi, Mads. And we're going to do, so we're going to take this piece off. Let's see, this way. I want to get some writing in there. And I meant to, that's what I wanted to do first. So remind me on the next one, ladies, that I want to ink around the wood because I want that to bleed through the Mod Podge. The moon, the stars, Scotty. Oh, what's up? <laughs> oh, to open the jar. Yeah, I have one of these. And of course, it's purple. So that helps. My hands, um, recently, my hands have decided they don't want to work anymore. My thumbs especially. And it's really starting to bother me. So now I'm trying to overwork them because, yeah, I can't, um, I can't not have my hands. Uh, that's just not going to happen. Oh, and I have to do a video too today because my sister just brought my birthday present from my mom. And oh, it looks beautiful. I just kind of peeked at it. I didn't open the whole thing. So I do want to share. Um, so yeah, that'll work. And then maybe a little piece of purple. So let's get this purple. Let's see if we can get this in here somewhere. This is a little bit thicker paper. I'd like it to be a little thinner, but that's okay. We'll work with it. We'll make it work. That's my ornament, right? Let's go here. Hi, Pearl. How are you? All right. And again, this sharp edge is going to get cut off, so I'm all good with that. Like I said, I'm going over the top of all this with a napkin. So I just wanted some collage behind the napkin. Again, I haven't done this before, so we're going to see how it's going to turn out. And let's get a piece of, oh, just a piece of purple paper. So I do happen to have a piece here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you guys can't see it. 
it's it's really purple but you guys are seeing it almost white but it isn't it's it's purple so let's get a little piece of that Jude, wrong. What are you supposed to say? What? Doing better. Sinus infection. Ah. Someone else has a sinus infection going on too. What's up with that? No sickie at Christmas time. So we're just going to kind of fit this in here. See, I'm already got ideas just from doing this. My mind's already thinking about something else. <laughs> which I may have to save one or two to do that. So I'm going to get this piece on here, and then we're going to cover this with Mod Podge and then get um, a napkin on here, one of the napkins. Now we can rip apart different napkins and put it on here, but I'm just going to, to start, I'm going to just do one with one napkin. Remember, I have two sides that I have to do, so... And am I close? Am I close enough for you guys? Do I need to come in at all? Sorry about spelling, Candy. Okay. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I have an awesome. Oh. Just trying to catch up on chat. Someone's going to Stephanie's house for something. <laughs> all right. So let's find the napkin. Let's see which one we want to use. I think I just. Swung all the napkins to the floor or something. Where are they all? Because I just showed you guys a big giant pie. Oh, they're there. They're on the other side. All right, let's do. I think I want. I think I want this one. And now I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know if all this is going to show through or not. So this could be, you know. Uh, epic fail for all I know. <laughs> You're fine with video. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Susan. So Luke, oh, and Nikki's talking and see, we might not be, although once it's wet, it may start coming through a little. So I'm just going to put this right over. Again, I just need to make sure there's plenty of Mod Podge on here. Like I said, this may show through, this may not. I may need to just leave them like this and see how this looks and just add pieces of napkin, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to put this right here like this and see, you can barely see it, but once it's wet, maybe it'll come through. We'll see. And I'm not super, I'm a little careful with this, but I'm not super careful. I don't want to tear it, but it's not like super, super delicate. See, you're not really seeing the picture through there, and that's what I wanted. So maybe I needed to choose a little bit lighter napkin. So I don't know. I don't like that you can't see that. Can I still get this up? All right, so we're going to pull that up a sec. We're going to try something else. Trial and error, right, guys? I might have to do one with just napkins, but I kind of like this collage. So I'm going to do this one that's really light, and I'm just going to bring in some flowers here. Trial and error, trial and error. I really like the collage aspect of it. So we're going to go around here and around here. There we go. And we're going to bring this one right to here. There, now you can still somewhat see the butterfly behind there and the paper because this one's a way lighter color napkin. So maybe we'll do one with just a dark paper and then the flowers over it. And let's pick out another flower here. Because this napkin, um, this one's a really light picture on here. Okay, so she makes me French. Did you, did you... Did you just put something layers? What? Yes, I did take the layers off the napkin. That was just a really, the colors on that napkin are really vibrant. So I thought for sure you'd see through it, but I guess not. So we're going to stick this one here and then we're going to call, then we're going to dry that one and call that one and um, done and put the triple thick on it. 
like I said, I'm just trying to play around and see what I can come up with. A bunch of purple pictures is what I was going to do. And I'm like, hey, I want to try it like this. And I want to use the napkins. So we'll do one with just napkins too and see how that looks. So that works for me. So I just want to make sure I cover this really well because I got to cut off those edges. And just be careful with my napkins. Like that. All right, let's get this out of the way. Get the garbage out of the way. I'm already getting Mod Podge all over my hands. All right, we're still talking French. Hi, Grace. How are you? All right, so I'm going to pull out my heat gun. So hopefully you should only hear it for a second. If you guys continue to hear it, someone yell at me in chat, okay? Hi, Lana. Oh, there's Misty. Now I see her. Hi, Misty. Well, if you were to put the pointed paintbrush, you can draw around. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't have the patience for that right now, Pearl. <laughs> I am trying to learn to be a quick crafter. Hi, Lorna. Hi, well, one I call Lana. Hi, Lana. Hi, Lorna. Although they're both Lornas. I'm just, I know the effect I'm trying to get, so we're going to work on different ones to see if I can get what I'm looking for. And I already have the idea for the next one. And that's what, what might be how we have to do it. I just know this Mod Podge is going to take a little bit to dry. Nice, Dandy. Ooh, this glass is getting hot. Let me see. Almost. We'll let it cool for a second and then dry some more. And I'll chit chat for a second. So I already know what I'm doing for the next one. I think it'll work much better that way. Oh, I had Mod Podge in my hair. <laughs> My podge and napkin in my hair. Dry, dry, dry. Because I wanted to maybe put an edge on. I'm trying to think how I can do this because although it should run to the edge and not go over, but we'll see. All right, that's almost dry, so we'll let it cool for a second. Let it um Cool, and then we'll hit it again. Hi, cat. How are you? I'm 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 trying to be quick, and then I'm I I'm watching myself on YouTube, and I look like I'm being a spaz. I don't want to be a, a crazed lunatic over here. I just want to try and craft a little quicker. How you doing, Misty? All ready for Christmas? I'm waiting for packages that haven't arrived. Thank you again, Angela, for thinking of me yesterday on Patty's sale with my very slow lag. Aw, I'm using some of your stuff again today, Lorna. And you missed the tags. I showed the tags I finished. They look so pretty. Ooh, cat's baking cookies. Yum, yum. Oh, if you guys knew the amount of cookies and chocolate and pretzels and mints and stuff I got from my kids on the bus besides two $5 gift cards, a $10 gift card, a $15 gift card, and a $25 gift card. I think I'm set. I have wrapped my last gift today and baked about 15 dozen cookies. Holy cow, Misty. Aw, thank you, Jude. Making gingerbread today. Anybody crafting today? I have to wrap, but that's asking too much. Yeah, I'm with you, Nikki. I used to love it when I was younger, but now it's like, just throw it in a bag. 
Oh, yes, Lorna's been baking too. Yay, you're free of the kitchen. And Angela says, I'll make the finish line. Wasn't it, Lorna? Yes, my kids this year are awesome. They were really awesome. And cookies, I got cookies coming out the butt. Peanut butter and pretzel. My favorite are, and I don't, tell me if you guys have heard about them. We made them in school when I was in cooking, cooking class. They're called um, chocolate crinkles. Oh, my God. They were like my favorite cookie. I still got mince pies. Ooh. I printed off kits today to work on a couple of journals. Yep, I've been working away on that, too, and doing a lot of fussy cutting, Misty. They make meds for that girl. <laughs> oh, my God, Angela. Oh. Boy, you guys are really talkative today. <laughs> Holy cow. Yay, Angela's crafting. I know Patty's painting. Michelle is probably crafting. I don't know about Mags, if Mags is crafting. I'm crafting. I'm going to enjoy this next two weeks of crafting. I already have my stuff ready to go. All right, let me dry this just a little bit more, and then we'll put on the triple thick. And then we'll put on the uh, glass glitter. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to have to poke my holes, so I might have to wait till the triple thick dries to do that. Oh, thanks, Linda. Plunk up in here. <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a while. I used to have, um, used to have, I mean, she's still my friend, but not like she used to be. But back when I lived in my townhouse, I had um, no crafting. Aw. I had a girlfriend named Maggie, and I also called her Mags, and she had a little boy, and her little boy, and Cam used to play, and we used to hang out every day, and we were on when, you know, all the chatting things first started, and this guy was in the chat, and he used the word crunk. Uh, we were laughing so hard. Wish I had some blackberry juice to go with my shine. <laughs> oh, good night, Stephanie. Stephanie's leaving. I didn't see it. The chat is just flying. Hi, Kathy. All right, so I'm going to get my knife. And you know what else I did today? I spent quite a while still looking for my one knife that I cannot find, my purple one. I have like four things now that have gone missing, my nails included that have gone missing that I just don't understand where I'm putting these things. When, the, when, when they leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I don't, I'm confused. I'm the chat's going so fast. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Cause if I look away for a minute, I get lost. So I just want to get this around here. Cause I am going to put something around the edges and, this piece is not coming off, and this isn't all the way dry yet, but I'm pushing it today. I'm pushing the boundaries today. I'm going to make it work. To me, this is just a little bit easier than a scissors. Especially if I put in a new blade and it was nice and sharp, it'd work great. But I had these in a box. Um, cause you guys know I've been cleaning. I had these in a box of stuff that I was going to get rid of. And I'm like, after Stephanie posted that I was looking at the stores and I couldn't find what I was looking for. And I opened that box today and I'm like, Oh, these will work great. You see this one's not, but we can put some glue on there. So it's okay. I'll just use some, uh, this is the thicker paper and it's not, let me get my scissors. Before I stab myself or something, let me get a scissors. Because we don't want any of that. Nikki, if I bake my butt off, it means I can eat more. That's right, cat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so I was talking to Patty earlier today, and I told her, I said, 
my vertigo, which came out verticals, my verticals. So, you know, that talk text. Um, scissors is with the nail kit. Yeah, everything is with the nail kit. I'm telling you, it's those menahunis. Um, I don't know what's going on. So I said, I must have slept really bad because my vertigo is really bad today. So I'm trying to stay sitting down. So I woke up this morning and every time I took a step, my body went left and I kept slamming into the wall. <laughs> like, what is going on? So yeah, my I said, it, I don't want to join. You know, I think I'm going to sit down because I don't want to join the broken butt club <laughs> with Patty. It was funny. She's like, yeah, you don't. I said, no, I do not. I'll pass. Thanks. No broken butt here. I broke my butt when I was young. I know what it feels like. And it took years. I mean, anytime you'd bump it, it would hurt. I was like, what the heck is your verticals? Yeah, exactly. Whatever it was, it doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> Vertical is your aim every day. <laughs> right, Lauren? It's funny. Every time I get up and take a step, like... It's almost like I just got off a spinny ride and my body just goes and just slams me into the wall. My crack broke long time ago. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little, because it's going to bug me, I'm going to put a little Mod Podge under this side that was lifting just a little bit as soon as I can find it now. Maybe it's not lifting. No, it is. Right here, just a little. Just because I don't want to worry about that later. So we'll glue that all down. That's all good. All right. So we've got the heart, and I think that looks kind of cool. It looks, you know what? I'm thinking jelly printing and, and stuff and mixing colors together on here. I think that would look so cool. And again, if I would have done the distressing, it'd look amazing if I wasn't so cray-cray right now. Well, ladies, the dude is about to come up missing at the hand. <laughs> so I'm all right. Have a great night, Misty. Thanks for coming in. Hate that funny little girl. Son wants me to get my nails done. Nope, not really. Yeah, I do my own. I don't worry about all that. It's just easier. I have all the stuff, so I just do it myself. But I've been doing them for 25 years, so it's a lot easier. So we're going to get out the triple thick now. And I did put some in a bottle. I'm not sure how it's going to work like that. We're going to try. Um, if it doesn't work like this, I do have this. So we'll see. And I have another one of those little ones somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Broken tailbone. If I could have scooted across and helped like a dog, I would have. I stepped on. And, uh, oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, I think we've all, you know, hit our tailbone once or twice. Yes, Merry Christmas, Misty, in case we don't see you before then. All right, so I'm going to try, and I know my tip is clogged, so I need to send something down there to unclog it because this triple thick isn't like Fabri-Tac. So let's see if I can get a long needle here. I have some, not my tatting needles, but I do have dowel needles somewhere. But I think I might have mixed them in with my, oh no, here they are. They're not tatting needles, they are dowel needles because they are very sharp. My, my tatting needles are not this sharp. So we're just going to try and poke this, get this out of here, whatever this is. Sorry, guys. I didn't want to have to, should have checked this before I came on. Just give me one second. I'll get it out. I just don't want to stab myself with this very sharp pin because we know what a klutz I am. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's that. I'll try and get you that joke. Well, I could use triple thick. <laughs> yeah, I love triple thick. I, I haven't used it for what I bought it for yet. But, you know, one of, the, one of these years I will. So this might actually come out way too slow. We're going to see. I think my hole's not as big as it needs to be. So we're going to resort, resort to, where's the lid here? This is for like smaller projects. We're going to resort to this. And we're going to use a brush. And this stuff can be quite messy. All right, let's get the sharp knife out of the way because that thing will stab me too. 
and get my other where's my other brush i know i pulled out a brush for this i'm already losing my mind what you what in what now oh my i'm not reading the chat anymore you guys gnomes lurking you guys are confusing me so i'm just gonna brush it on you're not supposed to you're supposed to just kind of pour it on and it kind of settles but my triple thick is kind of thick i'm guessing it doesn't last as long as we think it does um as long as it settles enough to get the brush marks out i'll be happy because i am putting glass glitter over this so um i'm not too worried about it and i do need enough on there to hold the glass glitter so let's see get this a little thicker i have a feeling i'm going to need some more triple thick i'm not going to have enough yeah it is a little bit thick today wow that's because it gets really hot in my room and this stuff probably cures a lot faster in this room than it's probably supposed to be kept in a cool dry place and this is a very hot humid place <laughs> so i'm a fat chick oh my goodness oh and we're still talking about cookies and food show them laurel and oh thanks jude all right so now i'm going to get the paper plate this is where the glass is going to come in. As soon as I figure out where I put the paper plate, it was right here. All right, so we're going to put this on the plate. I am, I am very much a, have a glass phobia. Um, I do not own glass. Like all my cups are that thick acrylic, because anytime I have glass, it ends up breaking in my hands when I'm washing it or dropping it so i don't own glass so i'm very weary about working with this glass because my fear is i'm going to step on it so we're going to use this plate just to keep it all in place and i had to make that a little bit thicker right there oh this stuff is super sticky you guys it is triple thick for sure can't have cookies i'm on a diet oh who asked item just made now to before i eat them oh boy yep everybody's so i'm gonna let it settle for a second because it's starting to settle you can already see the shine like on it so it's settling and then i'm gonna i should probably use a spoon but i'm gonna open this here because you're gonna see probably little bits of glass see all that glass i'm oh not a not a huge glass fan here but I really like this stuff. I'm just not sure I like working with it. See, it's all over my hands too. And I have sticky on my hands. So that means this glass is going to stick to me. Probably should have worn gloves. All right. So I was going to use a spoon. I know I have a spoon here somewhere. I need a big spoon or something to scoop this out with. I don't want to use just my hand. Hold on. I think I have something right here. It's right here in one of these drawers. Because I know if I just dump it, it's going everywhere. So we don't want to do that. Where is that little metal thing? Darn it. Oh, there's a spoon. Okay, we'll use the spoon. Yeah, I'm going to use the spoon. I mean, I think it's going to make a really pretty ornament. I am going to go around the edges and stuff probably with some um, of that. What is it called? I have it in every color. This kind of stuff. I have the wider ones. What is this called? What is this? They're calling it diamond wrap, but that's not what it's called. It's got a name. I just can't think of it. I want to let that soak in a little and then I want to dump it because I don't want it too thick. I, I still want to be able to see the picture. And 
I think that's really pretty. When it dries, it's going to look real. This is all purple. I know you're kind of seeing a blur, but it's really not. Gem strips. Is it? Gem strips. Ah, humbug, Dustin. Is Dustin? There he is. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. What would fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh and then it went away. Where's the rest of it? My chat moved. Hi, Dustin. Why do I not see him over here? Oh, there he is. Hey. Giblets on the way. Oh, my gosh. All right. So let's see if I can. And then what you can do with this is you can coat it with a thin coat of Mod Podge because, you know, it is glass. And if you're worried about pieces of it falling off, which is what I'm going to worry about, um, I'm going to push it down a little bit. You can coat it with Mod Podge just so you don't have to worry when you're putting them away and stuff, this glass going anywhere. So that's that one. But can you see that? That looks really pretty. When it's dry, it's going to look gorgeous. And I'm going to decorate around the edges and stuff. And a couple of them, I'm probably going to put some dangles on. But now let's try the second one a little bit different way. I have a little bit different idea. But I do like the collage idea. To me, it just looks really pretty. Aw, thanks, Jude. Ooh, la, la, I can't remember your name. That's Doreen. I'm trying to change the icon. Merry Christmas, Jude, and everybody. If anybody comes in chat and I don't see you, thank you, Sandy. Just um, type in all caps. All right, so I'm going to put this one to the side. I'm going to close this glass over this because I'm going to continue to use this. So I just want to move this. I'm going to have this feeling that I have glass in my hand. I just want to move this out of the way somewhere. Where can I put all these? Right there. there. So that one's out of the way. Let's get this up here. And then we'll close it right here. Just so any little pieces go on that plate. You can hear it too. It's like in the in the threads. Make sure none got out of the table. And then we'll move this out of the way. And so this one I am going to do with just the purple piece of paper. Thank you, Mags. Aw, thank you, Paula. Time to go mix up. Hot cocoa cookies. I want some hot cocoa cookies. Ooh, I'll take the gluten-free. I don't know if anyone answered me if they heard of chocolate crinkles or not. So I'm actually going to use just this purple paper on this one. And then I'm going to put a napkin over top of it. So I'm just going to get a little square of it here. Maybe I can kind of go around here so I can see the shape. Maybe cut it out. There we go. And then we'll just cut it out. I was gonna, gonna dig in my box of purple stuff from Michelle and I'm like, no, that's for my purple journal. <laughs> if I want to do that. But I said this could, you know, this could go on and on because I've got about a million ideas running through my head already. All right, so this one we're going to remember to distress the edges of the wood first because then hopefully it'll bleed through the paper. There we go. So we're going to put this one down. There we go. Have not made chocolate crinkle cookies in years. Oh, I love them. I wish I still had the recipe. I don't anymore. All right, so we're going to distress this one with this purple. And I had to go find stuff because Cam has hijacked um, all my distressings and stuff because she's working on a project. So she hijacked all of my distress inks and stuff which I'm a little worried about. <laughs> All 
Because when Cam crafts, <laughs> I thought I was messy. There we go. Get that purple going on there. Can't believe how many. Uh oh, yeah, exactly. I told her she better get pouring. All right, so I'm doing this because I want it. I want it to bleed through, and I'm hoping it will instead of just um, absorbing into the wood. So hopefully it will bleed through once I put the Mod Podge on and the paper on top of it. Yeah, she can't type. She's painting. So everybody needs to talk really loud. <laughs> All right. So let's get the Mod Podge back out. And I need my Mod Podge brush. Where's my big paper towel? Right here. So Patty, Lorna says, hey, hi, Patty. Really loud. Again. So she should type in chat in a second when she can and say, hi, Lorna. <laughs> All right, we just want to make sure we have a good coating on here because it's actually soaking right into the wood. So we want to have a good coat so it grabs this piece of paper really quick. Lorel just looked up chocolate crinkles and now I want some. Oh, they do have a recipe out there for them, Louise. I had it when I was in school. You know, I forget how wonderful the internet is sometimes for that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, you make a little ball and then you let them sit and they crack and then you roll them in in powdered sugar. Oh, it's like it's like heaven. <laughs> just like Frango mints, kind of like heaven. All right, so hopefully, I don't know, maybe that'll bleed through. Maybe, maybe not. We probably should have done it on top of the paper, too. See, I keep thinking after the fact, which is not good. So I can probably dry this up a little bit and then distress around it again. Yes, we appreciate you all being here. There are plenty of recipes online. Awesome. Sounds simple enough. I may be able to make them. Yum, yum. Yes, they were like my favorite cookie in school when we made chocolate crinkles. I'm like, oh, have you guys had the Oreo cream cheese balls? Oh, my goodness. That is like a very bad addiction because it's so fattening, but it's so good. Oh, thanks, Nikki. And I don't care if this is wrinkled a little because... We're going to be putting on the um, glass glitter and stuff anyway. So we're doing this first and then the napkin, but I want to just drop this in there. How is that resin going, Patty? You need more for the next sale. <laughs> That's right. This this um, heat tool by Marvy is over 30 years old. I've had it for a long, long time. I blame her too, Mickey. I went back and ordered two more molds, blaming you. Yep, we'll just blame Patty for everything lately because it's all her fault. All right, so let's see if we can do this again. Is this the right one? Yeah. Let's see if we can go around the edges of this. And then the napkin should definitely pull this through. Although it might smear a little because ah, I'm doing it on top of Mod Podge. But we'll see. I think they're going to make really pretty ornaments for sure. Because who doesn't like playing with napkins? I'm sure we all have dozens of them. I got the angel on the wings. Nice. Patty, how big 
her have big shoulders, she can handle it. Yep. She made me laugh last night when she said, I'll bring the rest to Round Top. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Yep, exactly. Everybody has to have the same fun toys, right? Nobody wants to feel left out. We all want the cool toys. All right, need some coffee here. Hold on a sec, guys. All this talking, talking. But notice, I'm not as loud, I don't think, as I have been lately. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm not talking to you like I need to scream at you for you to hear me. So yeah, I'm going to try and start doing some series on just different things that I do and how I make them like stuff for my journals. Not that we all haven't seen tags and all that, but we all know I like to go to the extremes with everything. So we'll see. Rather than trying to concentrate so hard on figuring out things to do, because I got about a million projects I want to do. But all right, let's do. That one's probably got too much. Could there be such thing? I was going to say that one probably has. Too much purple. Is there such a thing as too much purple? So I want to get a butterfly in here somehow. Let's see here. I really like this one. I think this may be the only one I have. I really love this napkin. I'm sure I got it from somebody. But yeah, see, I'm pulling off the layers. And I know there's another layer on here. There it is. All right. Let's get this one off. And I like these. See that? That will, well, that'll work with the collaging. Can you guys see that? Let me see if you guys can see that. Can you see the picture? It's almost like the ghosting that Patty talks about. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. The whole picture is on this white part. I love when I get napkins that do that because I do use them. Um, but the picture, the picture of the napkin is on here. It's really pretty. I know it's hard for you guys to see it, but we're going to definitely use that for something. Party time with Laurel. <laughs> Exactly. I agree, Lorna. All right. So let's see what part we want to use. Because see, then the purple is going to show through, which is what I wanted, just like that. So I think we're going to go right, right there, like that. So I'm just going to press this a little bit. And see, this is where I could get out the water. But I don't want the napkin to be wet because I'm using the Mod Podge. So... We're just going to cut around that really quick. Where's my scissors? And I'm already making a huge mess. I know. Isn't this napkin beautiful? I wish I knew who sent it to me because I'd like more than one. <laughs> one just doesn't quite cut it. Then it's like you don't want to use it. It's like you got to hoard it. But what good is hoarding it if you never use it on anything, right? I'm being quiet because I'm cutting. I get, um, when I'm fussy cutting and stuff, I get really quiet. And when I'm tatting and right now I'm working on a special project that is literally making me insane. <laughs> it's a Christmas uh, thing, so I can't, I can't say what it is. And hopefully I'll have it done by Christmas. Sorry, I'm out of frame, guys. I'm just trying to. Let's just do this for now, then cut around it. I'm trying to get, ah, stay there. And see this one, I could actually add 
something else to it too. I think it would look pretty. Like you can put flowers on here. You can make these dimensional if you want. They don't have to be flat. I said my mind is like going a mile a minute. Not that no, not that anybody hasn't ever made ornaments. I'm sure they have. All different kinds, but my mind just going a mile a minute with these. I did make Cam um, a beautiful wreath this year with the uh, what's it? The tool, tool, not tool. I, I've lost my brain. My brain is no longer in the building. Can I blame Patty? For, yep, you can blame Patty for getting a new car. Oh, Jean sent me the napkin. Thank you, Jean. I love that napkin. See? And, you know, I used to try and keep track of everything that everybody sent me, but it gets really, you know, you'd have all, have to have all little separate piles of every, everything with people's name on it. And I'm like... <laughs> It just gets, it gets too hard. Thank you, Jean. I absolutely love the napkin. All right, so see this one's, that's just what I wanted. I wanted it to get blurry like that. So now we're going to put this one down. And see, I probably could have done the other side of that napkin, and it wouldn't have been so bright. That's the only thing about cutting it out. You just got to make it fit a little better here. It's a little harder to get it on here. There we go. And I don't care if it's a little wrinkly because we're going to be putting um, glass glitter over it anyway. And I'm not going to do a really heavy coat of Mod Podge this time. New cars are fun. I've never had a new, new car. Someday maybe when I win, you know, that lottery. That's what I'm, that's what I'm banking on. Because the first thing everybody asks me is do you have a purple car and i'm like no <laughs> i wish i had a purple car but no all right let's get some of this wiped up so there see how you can let me bring it up close you can see the purple through there and you can see the distressing around the edges that's what i wanted you to be able to see so it just didn't look like wood so you're seeing the different purple. I know it's hard to see it on here. My light is just so funky. That's a new car. Yeah, I would. That's awesome. Thank you, Jean. Of course, it's very pretty. It was a gorgeous napkin for sure. So we're going to let it sit for a minute because I want these colors to bleed a little bit before I actually dry it. You to palm, Pat, at Patty. We love you, girl. Aww. Lorel, you never guess what color my ish. If you say purple, Nikki, it's got to be blue because you like blue. But if it's purple, I'm going to die. I don't think it is, but it would be cool if it was. But I'm going to say blue. <coughs> Excuse me. I think those cookies got to you, Nikki. <laughs> Anybody have any ideas? Or you got any ideas to throw my way? I'm already thinking like, oh my gosh, my brain. I need about 80 more of these wooden things right here. And I can't even tell you where I got them. They said we don't usually see the various... Varies of geographic purchasing. I died laughing. You sent me a pic? Uh-oh. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. I don't see nothing yet. There it is. What color is that, Nikki? <laughs> Because it looks kind of purple to me. That's a beautiful car. Angela is sipping the Christmas eggnog. <laughs> All right, come on, bleed a little bit more. I like the way it's bleeding into the napkin. So I'm going to let it sit for a minute. Got to read the whole story. Wait, any ideas or topic specific? Yeah, ideas on this, Patty, what I can put on here. I'm sure you always have. My mind's going about a mile a minute. I've got about a, you know, 
80 ideas already, but I only have six of these little things. Oh, thanks, Lorna. Well, it'll be pretty in a minute when we get the uh, triple thick and the glass glitter on here. I love eggnog. Absolutely love eggnog, but I can only do a very little amount because, you know, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Maybe I need some wine. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any of that. I don't know. I don't know. You guys wouldn't know me if I did. I could have half of a beer. I'll probably be on the floor. Coffee. Coffee fixes everything. You don't like eggnog? They make one, Victoria. It's called... Um, holiday custard. Oh my goodness. My daughter doesn't like eggnog either, but she liked this holiday custard about the bank card, but I can still use it until the new arrives. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I know you don't drink Angela. Neither do I. Hi, Shelly. How are you? All right, now we can dry it. I just wanted it to start bleeding a little bit. So did you guys hear the heat gun before or no? Did it get quiet? I hope so. Yes, it's like custard, but it, oh, it's amazing. Hot potties, yuck. No hot potties. And uh, I almost yelled, social. <laughs> yep, Ron Shelley. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. She's probably crafting too. I drink Dr. Pepper religion. I love Dr. Pepper, but I don't drink pop anymore. I do like cream soda from time to time. Hi, Christine. Can I say hi, JJ? I like vodka and orange juice or shine and blackberry juice. <laughs> This is not for children. Can we use soy? No, I don't drink soy. I drink almond milk. But I don't know how to make homemade eggnog. Hey, stop. Chill, if you're watching, girl, get in here. <laughs> I'm not sure what she's doing. She just got home from my mom's a little while ago. No greedy. I'm taking my nog nog back. <laughs> All right. So did it get quiet? Because nobody said, nobody's answering when I ask. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Nope. No children. That's right. This is not for children. 15 years. Darn meds. Oh, yeah, exactly. Bubble glitter, Nikki. It's quiet. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Ooh, that wood got hot. So did the glass. Ooh, that's really hot. Aw, thank you, Jude. I am a hot torture. <laughs> Goodness, Angela. Made a dangle on it. Make a dangle on it. Yeah, I'm going to make some with dangles for sure, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. If I didn't say hi, I think I did. Laurel needs the bubble. What is bubble glitter? What is bubble glitter? I like glitter. I'm losing it and I need to craft. That's right, Angela. Get crafting. All right, time for the triple thick. Time for the, the thick stuff. Here we go. And then we'll pull that glass glitter out. Like we could put, oh my God, my mind's going a mile a minute here. Of things I could do on here. But we're going to try and concentrate on one thing at a time. 
I'm supposed to where I can to party. Salute, Tort Ali. Speaking another language there, are you, Angela? <laughs> Jennifer's like, after last night, I want to put locks and keys on everything. I agree. Oh, that would look cool to make a few with um, resin pieces. Oh, I would have to stick that on top of the glass. Like, I could put, I don't know if I have a butterfly. I'm not sure what I have over there. But, yeah, that, oh, and I meant to do, see, I need to bring out the stamps. I meant to do some stamping underneath. But let me see what I got in a resin piece. Hold on. The problem is I don't have any that are painted. I have all bunches of like little locks and keys, little tiny ones in here. I don't know if that would go really well on here. I would kind of need like a butterfly. But yeah, locks and keys look pretty. That would kind of look cool if it was painted. So I may have to, as I said, I'm going to have to find some more wood things. I wish I knew where those came from. But yeah, that would look pretty on there. Even if you put it up here and made that the hanger, that would look really cool, wouldn't it? You see that? Look. Like that as the hanger. Then I wouldn't have to poke out the two holes. That would look really cool. And we could always do the glass glitter around it. But I would need to jessel this, slap it on. All right, I need to find one that matches for the other side because, well, I don't need to do the other side yet. So we'll do that. Let me, uh, let me get some gesso real quick. Hold on here, guys, because that'll dry in a second, and then I can wax it up. See, we're going to start getting super creative, and then um, I'll get, like, one of these done. <laughs> All right, let me stir up my black gesso here, my homemade black gesso, which works great. Because that'll dry in a second, and then I can put wax on it. All right. Just trying to keep everything clean. Aw, thanks, ladies. Oh, nice, Susan. You're welcome. We're all going to wax. That's right. Earl's going to brush this first, so I need something to put it on because I don't want it all over the desk. So I need a little piece of paper. Let's use a post-it note. And I get a little brush. Hmm, I just need a little brush. And we'll brush this up. what I like. I made this with um, acrylic paint and black chalk paint. So it dries really fast, which is nice. All right, so I'm going to move that over a little bit. And then we'll do some, um, we'll do some purple uh, wax on there. I'm not going to do anything fancy like Patty was doing last night. I'm just going to do one color. <laughs> but now I'm getting black everywhere. Laurel, you can get those wooden hearts and other... Oh, okay. I didn't see them. I did look at Joanne's. I didn't see them, but I will check Hobby Lobby. Hello, Harry Legs. Here we come. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are all crazy. All right, let's try this one up a bit. And this is, this is made out of my paper clay. You, you, you guys will have me pulling out everything in a minute. I'll be like, wait, we need to add some of this and some of this. So let's turn it over and get the other side. Because we don't want any white showing through here.
right, let's try that. Got to have hairy legs in the winter to hold just a, oh my gosh. All right, let's rinse off that brush. All right, let's try this side. All right, that's that. All right. I'm with that one. Now I need my wax. Need my purple wax. Uh -oh. Where's my purple one? There it is. I was, I was just going to freak out. <laughs> Thought it was missing. All right, we need the little, little brush. The little, little brush. So we're going to use the little, little brush. I could feel, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. I think it's all dry. Let's get that out of here. And what's nice is you, look at that. I know you guys are seeing blue, but this is the most gorgeous color purple. I don't understand why purple has to look blue. But you only need a little bit of this stuff. I'm going to look at how much of that I use, Nikki, for my project. That's how much purple I used. I'm going to need another one. I don't think I grabbed a little too much there. Just keep spreading it around. And what's nice is when this dries, it doesn't come off. This is what Patty needs, these. <laughs> she needs the peacock and the copper one and because they're so pretty. And I just think the black just makes the purple pop for sure. Look at I'm getting my hands all purple and and voila. There we go. It is now purple. So we're going to let that sit and dry for a second so we can glue it on. And then, actually, I'm just going to pop it right into the triple thick. The triple thick will hold that on. So all the colors you like, Laurel. Yep, that's right. Patty needs to get all the colors I like. Do you hear that, Patty? <laughs> you need to get all the colors I like. <laughs> all right, then we'll put that right on there. Right like that. And that will be our holder for this one. Anything else? Anything else we can stick on this one before I um, put the triple thick on? How about some purple buttons? What do you guys think? Purple buttons? Or some beads maybe? Oh, see? This is where my mind's going now. This is what I mean. Let's find the purple buttons. Well, there's purple in here, but not the purple I'm looking for. Let's see. I have a whole thing of just purple buttons. Let's see. Uh, and I know I can keep seeing them in my head. And it's a matter of where they are at the moment. I have a little purple wooden butterfly. That would look really pretty. Let's see if I can find it. Like, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's not what I'm looking for. It's a little wood one like this, but it's a butterfly. I don't know if the butterflies are in this one. All right, let's look in a different one. And yes, I'm standing up. Sorry, guys. I have to stand up to reach this stuff. In here, maybe? Oh, there it is. Look at this one. Isn't that cool? I don't know. Am I in frame? It's a little purple button. But like some of these would be cool. Some little buttons in here. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Look at see my sign, girl boss. <laughs> That's me, girl boss. 
I didn't see Patty chiming in. She must be busily painting over there. I love the game, but what? Can Kathy yes, look at chat. Keys. Keys? Keys. Oh, I have keys, but then I'd have to just throw them too. And I have I have key keys like this. I'll show you guys, but I don't know how that would look on here. Hold on. Let me grab them. But I do have keys that go with these little locks. But look, I have um, little keys, but they're not, they're like silver and gold. I have ones that say words, like this one says love. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It says love on it. But we can push anything into the acrylic. And then I have these little ones, like this. I have little bitty keys. I have them in silver and um, what color is that? Bronze. I have them in silver. So you guys tell me, or should I get one of the keys that goes with this and color it? She has meters, but keys, keys, keys. All right, Jude, we'll be here. Keys, Laurel. Okay, let me uh, let me get out the uh other thing that's got the keys in it i'll show you guys so i can use a real key like this which i'm not quite sure of, or i can use these keys come on i have to find them in here there's a couple different ones in here i know which one i want but i've been using it but i made so much paper clay i just kept sitting doing paper clay paper clay paper clay I think I did it until I ran out. <coughs> All right, where is that key? I don't want to have to dump this bag. I really don't. <coughs> Not this one. I have this one, but I have a, another one that's even more detailed than that. If I can find it. Hold on a sec. All right, so we're going to have to bring some of this out because I need to see see if we can find a key. Of course, I won't find a key in here anywhere. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right. I know there's another key. You know it. Here we go. No, that's not it. Here it is. This one. Like that. We're all Friday nights. Oh, thanks, Angela. You needed this tonight. I worked out a <laughs> the something key. Question: Is that metal on the heart? Yeah, this is a metal key. This is paper clay. That's a paper. So I have these two, which I can just sew and then do them purple. But those are the two keys I have. Yes, yes. Which one? This one. I like this one. I like the detail on this one, but where am I going to put it? Like just on here? What if we did like two keys like that? Get a little creative here. Let's get this out of the way. All right. So no, but no buttons. I'm guessing. I kind of like the button idea. All right. Let's move this key. Let's move this stuff. See, I got all different kinds of little locks and uh, little keyholes. I have a bunch of different ones. They're really cool. And this one, like that. And I have a bunch of gears and everything. I have a bee. I just don't have a butterfly. Patty, can you send me a butterfly through the uh, through the computer? Of course they are, Nikki. You have these molds I need to order from you. Yes, I have these molds of these little tiny keys and locks, Angela. Can you tell I went a little crazy? That's before I knew about the resin. I actually sat here with the paper clay. Let's play Name That Tune in Your Head. <laughs> Every other word she says sounds pop in my head. 
Oh my goodness. All right, so let's move my button. I don't, I love this button though. You might have to put that on one and that. So let me, now I got to get the gesso out again. Get you guys started. Now we got to do these keys and maybe this B should go on here too. Because I like the B. So let's get the gesso back out. And the brush. Thank goodness this dries fast, right? Hot cocoa in the fridge. I done for the night. This chick is tired. Awesome, cat. Great job. Man, they'll sound really good. Oh, paper clay? It's actually porcelain paper clay, um, Sandra. It's great. You can get it at um, Michael's. Oh, I think I need to store this again. All the chalk starts coming to the top. And I've made a mess of br my brush, but that's okay. There we go. Let's get down in all those little grooves. And we'll dry it and flip it over and do the back. And I know you're not going to see it, but I know it's there, so the back has to be done too. So what do you think? The two keys or just one? So I just need to get resin. Really? I. Well, you can see. Look at all these fine, tiny little things I did with the paper clay. I love it. I mean, it's a little time. Con I mean, it's easy. It, it dries fairly fast. Hi, Patty. I missed everything. I got, oh, everybody with these viruses. Black, tan, or white. My paper clay always cures. Curls. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't, my, none of mine are curled. I don't really have a problem with that. Oh, thank you, Julia. All right. So we're going to dry these real quick and see now my triple thick's been sitting here open this whole time. I think some beads. Don't you think some purple beads? look pretty in there i do we might have to push some into the uh triple set. we'll see that's that side let's flip it over and paint the other side Trying to use my nails so I don't get it all over my hands. Ay, 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 ay. All right, because you're not really going to see this side anyway. It's going to be glued down. All right, let's close this off. Brass. I'm high. Brass. I'm happy with the keys. <laughs> Well, you should take off the bracelet so it doesn't get stained. Oh, it's good. It's not it's not getting dirty. Not that messy yet. Although I just said that and just smeared black gesso all over my hands. <laughs> all right, stick that brush back in there. Give me a baby wipe. All right. Get this black off my hands. And I need to get my, oh, my wax is still out. All right, let's try this side real quick. So two keys or one key? Oh my goodness, Angela. I hope I don't have to say I told you so. What? 
I'm missing so much in the chat because it is literally just flying by. Sorry, ladies, I gotta fix this because it's gonna it's gonna make me crazy. Now I've just resorted to using my finger. Oh, she's singing a song. No, not on the bracelet. Bracelet's all good. All right, so you guys didn't answer. One key, two key, in all caps. One key, two key, B, yes, no. All right. Let's get the wax back out. I have, let's see, do I have a silver? No, I only have the silver and I have a blue, but there's no blue in, blue in there, really. I have, uh, oh, I have a copper. I don't know how copper would look with that. What do you guys think? How would copper look? I have this beautiful copper. Then we could go around the edge with some copper. Copper, two keys. Okay, two. Angela says three. Patty says one. <laughs> two keys on a string. Oh, now you want me to put them on a string? String it? Well, where am I going to put it on here? And this one doesn't have a hole in it. I'd have to make that a hole. suppose I could, but what am I going to... And just make them hang? I don't get it. You guys help me out here because now you're confusing me. Let me wax them. You're confusing me. So, copper or purple? Yes, one key on a string and B. The string you hang it with. Ha, ha, ha. Go in the middle and do two. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, you don't want me to, you want me to hang them on after I do the triple thick and stuff? So, don't put the keys into the, into the triple thick. Glue the string down too. It's in, I can't say that. Impressionist. Copper. Thanks, Cam. Impressionistic. Copper. I see one for copper. Do you guys think copper will go on here with the purple? Yes? Yeah, I got to wait for them to answer me. <laughs> yes? Mm -hmm. They're all telling me how to do this. Mm -hmm. Copper. Okay, copper, yes. Okay. So we'll do copper. But yeah, this one's really, I love this one too. I used these colors when I did the, uh, my mixed media piece. Tiny little key. It's hard to hang on to. Let's do this. Let's put it down. And let's flip it over. Now it grooves. All right. There's one copper. I think I got all the edges. There's one. And we need the other one. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat a second. Give me a minute, guys, because I'm still not understanding your hanging idea. And I know I don't have to do the back. Well, if I hang them, I do. Because, see, then you're going to see the backs. Cam is, like, literally over my shoulder with her head, like, right next to my head watching me what I'm doing. When I put on the copper, she's like, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. the centers of the flowers will stand out with the copper yes they will for sure so do you want me to hang these off of this or tuck the string and let them hang on top i'm like dangles yeah but where where do you want me to hang them from like on a long string i'm really confused guys i'm gonna have to poke a hole in this one so I need my little pokey tool. 
Sorry, Kim. Did I hit your toe? No. All right. You're so scared. Yes to the copper. Okay. We're going to poke a hole in this one because we're going to need it to put this string through. Smells good. Yeah, it smells great. All right. So we have a hole for our string for that one. Clean up the table a little bit. We don't want to look at the mess. Do what Patty says, Laurel. Laurel, cut a length of string, attach the keys, then run the string through that piece in the center. The keys will through here. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I need a piece of string, probably a thin one, preferably. Let's see what we got here. Let's get a piece of string. So we'll use this. This is my tatting thread. I'm using my tatting thread here, guys. All right. So I'm going to put the keys through here. See if I can even get this through here. I might need a needle and thread. This hole is so tiny. Let's see. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a chore right here. So hold on. Ay, 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 ay. Quit sticking me. I need my little tweezers. Need help here doing this. All right. All right. There we go. There's that one. Then this one. All right. And then just let them hang down the center of the ornament. So I should probably. Put my triple thick and stuff on now, right? Because I don't want them stuck to it. I want them to dangle, correct? Okay, let's move that. Let's move all these waxes. Try and keep my work area neat here. It's becoming a disaster area a little bit. And then that's going to go through the center of that. So I should probably put that on now and just put them above because I am going to use the triple thick to put this down. You can do it, Laurel. It's going to look amazing when you go fish. <laughs> then anchor the keys with a little glue and slack in the string. Oh, so you still want him in there. Aw, thanks, Crystal. So you want me to hang him, but you want me to push him down into the triple thick a little bit. I know what you're saying. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna put this on and I'm gonna move it out of the way for a minute when I put the triple thick on, but I want to get this tied onto here. So let's see here. Let's see where we need to make this knot. I don't want them to hang too low. All right, and then tie it. All right, let's see here. Oh my goodness, I can't pick up nothing. Uh-oh. All right, that's right. Not. All right. Ugh. I just, I feel safer if I do one more knot. Not twenty-eight four course menu. Holy cow! All right, so let's clip these. All right, and then we're just gonna move these over for a second up here, just for a second, so I can get all the triple thick on and get that stuff on, and then we'll 
go with the rest. What is that, black on there? No. All right. All right. So let's get this out of the way. I need everything out of my way right now. Got to do this triple thick. All right. Where's my brush? I had the brush out before. Right here. All right. God, this stuff is so thick. It's like extra thick today. What's nice is it starts to level itself out, but it's usually not quite this thick, but it's old because I told you I saw an idea and then I bought it. And then, you know, I had a million other ideas along the way. All right. So you want me to push them down into a little bit, right? All right, Kat, thank you for coming in. I just want to get that straight before I push them in and you guys, no, let them dangle. You want them to look like they're dangling, but not really be dangling, right? All right. Make sure we get it all the way to the edge because we need that glass to get in there all the way to the edge. I probably got my big fat head in there. All right, that's that. Hi, Sue. <laughs> You're funny, Christine. I would dangle only the keys, but either way will be great. I know, but I thought they said push them in a little bit. So should I let them just dangle i think they should dangle on top of it so i'm going to put on this piece i'm going to move this out of this out of the, how am i going to do this so i'm going to need to bring this like this and move it up i don't want that knot showing i want the knot to the back so let me get this knot to the back all right and we're going to put this here like this and we're going to move that up out of the way and then they will dangle down so we're going to push that in Push, push, push it in. And then we'll put the glass glitter on. Straighten it out a little bit. And then we'll let the keys dangle. Okay. So let's get my plate. Let's get the trusty plate. The dangerous glass all over it. Ugh. This is such scary stuff. I'm trying to move it out of the way a little bit. This here, get that key up there to make sure that's going to stay. This stuff's so sticky, it should hold. I'm really strong, sniffing glue making people come and go so quickly here. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. Get off my island, I'm not sharing. Laurel, do you have a any Christmas bells? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Crystal. I think I'll make one with some bells just for the jingle. Oh, to go with the keys? Yeah, I can add some bells on there. But I did buy some bells, and I know I have some tiny ones somewhere, too, in my drawer. But, yep, definitely. All right. So let's get the glass and our spoon and do this one. Oh, I got to do it over this because all that glass starts coming out. See, that's so weird that it starts coming out. I wish it would not be on the bottle or in the lid. All right. I just want to make sure this thing is down tight. All right. And then we'll put that same um, lock on the other side on the top just so it matches on both sides. But we can only do one side at a time because this glass glitter does need to need to dry. All right. Let's pick this up. Let's push it down in a little bit first. All 
Let's pick this up. Ah. <laughs> oh, not a fan of playing with glass. All right. And there we go. That's that one. Look how sparkly that is. And then the keys will hang like that. Pretty, huh? Thank you, ladies. Oh, I know. That's what I said. It's going to look amazing on the tree. Oh, this diamond dust is amazing, Susan. You just got to be really careful working with it. But yeah, that. thank you, guys. I love that idea with the, with the keys. That does look really pretty like that. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to look awesome when it's dry, especially both sides and, you know, it hanging on the tree. All right, someone's sending me a message. What's going on? What's going on? Sure, you can do that. Yeah, you're welcome, Nikki. If you want, you can pop in your coupon code with Patty. Be my guest. You know that already. They have all amazing stuff over at that store for sure. And you're blue, so you can put the link in. That way, anyone that wasn't at Patty's, if they want to go get anything, they can get it like resin or molds or whatever. I just feel like this is crooked. Just trying to straighten it out a little bit before it dries. And there's a piece of glass. Oh, there we go. All right. Yes, I think that's going to look amazing. Thank you, ladies. And then when I decorate the edge, oh, my God, that's even going to look prettier. I just can't do it now because of all this stuff on here. My hubby was wanting to move to Alaska. I'm thinking Utah is, is cold enough. <laughs> yes, it is. Patty's 15% off everything. Uh Till midnight. That's right. The coupon code is patty15 at queenscraftfair.com. Haven't used triple thick before. It is dry already, Laurel. No, it's not dry. It'll triple thick dries like glass. It dries really hard. And it makes things really shiny. But yes, it's perfect for putting this glass glitter in. It won't dry that fast. This is a little bit older, so it is drying a little bit faster, but no, it probably It'll probably take overnight before it's dry, but I just think that that looks amazing. Love the purple paper with the napkin on top. That one's going to be really pretty. All right, so we'll add this one over here. And for anyone that wasn't here, here's the first one. And I can still add stuff on top of here, which what's, what's nice. This one's like a little collage. I still think that looks really pretty too. And when I decorate it, it's going to look even prettier. So yeah. And then when both sides are done, oh boy. Yes, ordering fresh resin Monday. Ladies, the fresher the better. Seriously, nothing like it. Exactly. There's mold, waxes, resin, diamond dust. There you go, ladies. Thank you, Julia. I guess Nikki does have diamond dust. And this is, that's what I'm using. This is diamond dust right here. And I'm just very careful with it because that's a big jar. And could you see... Clutz Laurel dropping this all over. That would not be good. All right. So let's work on another one. All right. So what are we going to do to this one? Hmm. Let's see. I think this paper would look really pretty. And then what we, I want to put some buttons and stuff on one. I know you guys like the keys and stuff, but I think buttons are going to look really pretty because this is a very girly one. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Watch this. See, I'm starting to get smart here. So I'm going to go like this. Where's my pencil? I only have about a dozen of them. She won't even walk by the bug. Who won't? Total. Oh, the cat? <laughs> How is the kitty doing? She don't do bugs, mice, birds, frogs. Oh, and did I say bugs? No bugs. <laughs> a 
Lauren is like, are you live tomorrow, Nikki? I'm thinking diamond dust and lava paste. <laughs> yeah, this diamond dust is amazing. There's so much stuff you can do with it. Yeah, Julia's in um, Alaska, so yeah, it's definitely cold there for sure. Right, let's try and keep my workspace a little neat here so you guys can see. I'm trying not to make a huge disaster of everything because I'm usually really good at that and working myself into a tiny little corner. Did I get some flowers on there? Let's see. Yep. All right, so let's get this cut out. And we're going to remember to go on top the paper before we do um, the Mod Podge on the top. But yeah, buttons, beads, you can add whatever you want. I mean, you can make these as dimensional as you want. Like I said, my head is just like floating with ideas right now. All right, there we go. And then we can glue that one right on and then we can distress around it. And then I was thinking that one that has the shadow on it, I wonder if it would show up. Oh yes, it will. It'll just give it a hint. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna put on some buttons and maybe some beads on this one. Sick, where you have you been girl? Oh, how are you, Brett? How long is yours? I will protect you as competitive as a kid. We would race bugs and I would eat my brother's. Oh my goodness. Seriously, Lorna? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't, I, I think I mind bugs more than I did when I was a kid. Um, I'm not a big fan of the bugs. Especially bees and spiders. Going through personal stuff. It's hard to explain. Cool my town too. Yep. I am kind of crazy. I'm missing so much in chat. Alright. Let's get the Mod Podge brush back out. No, yes, we know you don't like bugs either, Nikki. <laughs> I should have made a ticker before I came on, just for just for fun. When Dustin came and went pretty quick. He must he must have been at work, but he does always try and pop in. <laughs> All right. Get this piece of paper on here. Oh, my phone's going cuckoo again. Bed Bath and Beyond has a coupon going on, guys, in case you're interested. <laughs> that was the message I just got. Yeah, that one's going to be pretty. And we're going to put the napkin over it. But first, we're going to distress this one. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. Wish I had two thumbs on it. That taxes competition. I'm out of town Tuesday night through Thursday. But then back for the weekend. Nice. Yeah, because it is Christmas Tuesday. Tuesday night and Wednesday. Aw, thanks, Jude. Lorna, no, not them have legs of an <laughs> Oh my gosh. The bug talk. The bug talk. 
I was even thinking about putting like flat back pearls around here. This one's very girly. I wonder if we should get um, a dangle for this one. Let's see. Being as I'm using some beads and pearls, what about a uh, just a small, not a big one, just like around the corner. I don't think that one is long enough, though. And it's kind of weak. I need one that hangs more flat because this is going to be double-sided. I don't want it to look funky on one side like that. Hmm. All right, hold on. Got to find another one. And hold you back. All right. Let's find a dangle. I need a dangle. Hang tight, ladies. I'm coming. I'm just trying to... All my dangles are somewhere. I'm like, I keep all my dangles together. There we go. I keep all my dangles together, and all of a sudden, I don't know where they are. So I just want to go like... Yeah, I don't want to go all the way, although maybe. I think that's going to look awesome. Let's do that. I don't want to know what you poured in your mouth. A fuzzy orange caterpillar. That's lovely. Chocolate dip bugs. No thanks. Ugh, I will know the difference. It's the, the texture thing. It's that darn texture thing. All right. So I'm going to get my fabric tack. I'm going to go up from. Let's see where we can start this from. I think that's going to look cool. I don't think we want to go all the way, but maybe midway down. All right. So here's where we need our trusty fabric tack. Oh my goodness. You have a tr I'm glad you do, Nikki, because um I do not. Let's get our fabric tack on here. See, I literally could have pulled out a ton of stuff tonight. I was trying to keep it simple. Then we started on the resin and the keys. And all right, so this is going to go here. We're going to go around to this side. And we're going to make sure it's even on both sides. Wow, that was a good guess, Laurel. We're going to let that dry for a minute. This one's going to be very, very shabby. I ate frog. Ugh, they do not taste like chicken. Probably should have distressed this before I put that on, but that's okay. Baby's breath, small flowers on top. Exactly, Sandra. I could put them right into the, right into the triple thick, and I have plenty of tiny little flowers and stuff it's just a matter of where everything is at the moment just because it won't hurt you and doesn't even taste too bad doesn't mean i'm going to eat it that's right like quail you need four for one per oh hey you guys are talking yucky stuff i i am i have you know what is it Texture issues and really bad gag reflex and just certain smells and tastes and texture. Yeah, no, can't do it. I used to eat very bland food. Ask my mom. I used to, have, well, I still do that, but I don't mind if it's touching now. 
I used to have all my food separated on my plate and I would eat one thing at a time and I couldn't have anything touching itself. So no puppy anymore for sale. Not so, not so puppy anymore for sale. Explain, Nikki. Is the puppy being better now? Is that what you're telling us? The puppy's being better? Is she out of the chewing up everything stage? I'm just letting this dry a little bit. It wasn't a cock. You'd be a model? You, you mean, Yeah, I would not be eating the bugs either, Nikki. Oh. You need some help there, Crystal. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Aw, have a good night, Lana. Thank you for coming in. Well, I do liver and I love grits, but all the rest, I agree with you, Victoria. No, she's still crazy and handsy, but clingy. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think that's going to look really pretty. All right, let's get this one cut here. Let's figure out where we need to cut this. This is one of those that gets really weird. It like kind of keeps going and going. All right, get there through there where you want. They should all be separate little loopy things. Except they're all going, there we go, right there. I was gonna say, I know they're separate little loopy things. So let's cut that. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, that's gonna look that's gonna look pretty. I like that. I love this one. And that's all I got is this little piece. Laurel, is that a napkin that's absolute this is actually paper, but I'm putting this napkin over it. It's got like the ghost image from the beautiful napkin. But no, this one is a piece of paper. But I am using some beautiful napkins. But no, this is paper. This is, mm, I want to say it's a Prima paper. I'm just not sure which one. Yeah, it's really pretty. I love it too. All right, so we're going to just dress this real quick before I get too far ahead of myself. And yes, all these ornaments are purple for my purple tree. <laughs> all right, back to work, Crystal. <laughs> all right, sorry, I'm out of frame, guys. It was, and I know I'm going to get part of this trim, but that's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Okay, who's pinging me again? It's like I get online and everyone's like, ping, 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 ping. <laughs> what's nice is i have the whole other sides to work with yet too but you know i can only do one side at a time all right oh i love that that's gonna look awesome see my mind's starting to go again here we go again all right so we're gonna put i want to see what part maybe one with the butterfly See how you just see the ghost image of the butterfly? Oh, that's so pretty. But I'd like to get the flower in there. Let's see. If I get the flower, then I can't get the butterfly. So we're going to do this butterfly right here. I think I'm just going to do the ghost image of that butterfly. Like that. Trying to press this a little bit so I can see where to cut. Oh, I don't want to lose that butterfly though. He's pretty. Oh, that stinks. All right. So let's cut this. I'm really sad that I only have one of this nap. <laughs> All right. Come on, scissors. All right. Got to check my phone in a second. Someone obviously got something to say. 
I'm not going to do this perfect. I just want to get it off here and onto my thing. And then we can cut around it. All right. So that's going to go there. I just want to make sure to get the butterfly. Trying to follow. I can't really tell if that's it. If it's not, that's okay. It's okay. It'll all be good. We're just kind of guessing. I think I cut that a little short, but that's okay. All right. Let's see my phone. I'm going to see chat. Who's pinging me? See, I'm getting pings, but I don't see anything. This doesn't make any sense. All right, pretty paper wall. Oh, thank you. How does he like to breathe again during the day? Hi. Oh, hi, Shell. Oh, you want to see the other ones? Look, the girls helped me with this one. See how sparkly it is? And it, the keys hang, see? The keys hang on there. So it's very sparkly. And then here's the other one. This one's just a collage. I still have to add stuff to it. But it's very sparkly as well. Aren't those pretty? Super sparkly. Yeah, see, that one's almost dry already. That's because that triple thick is like triple old. Aw, thanks, Rose. Yep, I wanted to make some ornaments. I wanted to use... The napkins and do some collaging but you can oh see if there's glass i don't like that all right all right so let's get this one on here and you'll just see the hint of that butterfly but you'll still see the paper so let's get the mod podge down i will definitely do that nikki Yeah, this one's getting really thick. It does, I d and I have had it a long time, so I guess it does get old. And it's really warm in my room. It's not like a cool, dry place. Yes, a sensitive gabber. Everything is popping off on Laurel's phone. Yeah, I, it's always like that. Are you crafting, show? Now I need more hearts. <laughs> Hi, Tamar. I'm just making some Christmas ornaments. All right, so we need the Mod Podge. I don't know why I opened the triple thick. We need the Mod Podge because we got to get this napkin down. So we're going to put this down first, then the napkin. Oh, ooh, I almost dunked that right in there. <laughs> wow, Laurel. You know what you're doing. All right. All right. Doesn't have to be too thick. Let's see if I can get this on in the right spot. And then we're going to put some beads and pearls on this one. Look at that. See, you're just going to see. Now you guys can probably see it, right? Hold on. Can you see the butterfly now? Just the ghost image of it? There it is. Let, let me close this before it, I do the wrong thing. Trying to finish my Christmas cards so I can mail them. Better late than never. That's right, Shell. Better late than never. I agree. All right. See, once you put this on, you'll see it even more. And again, I'm not worried about the wrinkling. I actually like when my napkins wrinkle. I just think it gives it... Um, What's the word I want to use? Character. Um, you'll see this more. But yeah, it's just the ghost image of the butterfly. I think that looks really pretty. And then the paper is kind of muted underneath. So we'll let that dry for a minute. Close this up. Hi, Martha. 
Yes, you're at the right place. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. As Cleo would say, Merry Miss Miss. <laughs> She's so funny. Merry Miss Miss. <laughs> I love when she says, and she says it a lot now. What happened? <laughs> Uh-oh. What happened? So funny. Yep, Kalia's is already at it. I my daughter sent me a list on um Amazon. I chose right from the list and then it took the items off and it went right to her house. She got it lickety split. She learned the word mine. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> You'll ask her, you know, to share something with you. And she's so polite about it. And she does this head tilt and she's like, no. Like so, so politely. Like, no, I'm not sharing. <laughs> Oh, no, the word mine. I guess I'm missing some uh, Snapchats I have to go to. Did what? A lady did it as well. It was gorgeous. And they wrapped, Harrell. What, what, what wrapped? Clue me in. I need the whole story, Nikki. Hey, Crystal. I'm really working again. No chatting. <laughs> See, I like the way that purple came through. That's what I wanted the last time. Nikki, I don't shop online. Ouchie. Got to take on me Jingle Bell socks. <laughs> so this one I think we're going to add some pearls to and maybe a few buttons just because it's very shabby. I like that. I think some buttons like coming down one side. Look at the buttons. As soon as I can pick it up, some buttons coming down the side. Some buttons and then some pearls. So let's find some more purple buttons. Let's see if I have more like that one. I don't know if I want three of the same button or three different buttons. Let me see. I like these sparkly ones. I'm going to push I'm going to actually push them into the triple thick but I think I want I definitely have to put thread in between them um, let's see here like that there we go and then we're going to put some purple thread through them of course let me find my purple here Use this. Isn't that pretty? Well, maybe not that one. I need a different one. This one. There we go. That one. That one's for something special, so I can't use that one. Pearls and lace. Exactly. Maybe a little piece of lace under here on one side. Good idea, Nikki. Or a little bitty purple doily, even. See, I've got purple on the brain, guys. You have to forgive me. <laughs> Look at these itty bitty, and they're just like a light lilac. I know it looks white, but it's not. It's 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 lilac, but like maybe a little dot. No, I think a little piece of purple lace, or even white lace. Let me see what I got in my um, go-to bin of my scraps. Let's see what we can find. What's in there? That's doilies and flowers. Let's see. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this. This would look really pretty on one of them, wouldn't it? That would look pretty on one. 
And yes, it's purple. So yeah, just a little piece of lace under the buttons I think would look pretty. Kind of like a little, let's do a little collage thing on here. Look at that. We'll just get a little creative over here. I'm talking to myself. I know, those little doilies are gorgeous, aren't they, Nikki? Then we'll put thread through these and put those on. And then we're going to put some, I've got some light purple pearls that we can, like, push into the thing. I have purple somewhere, too. That's kind of a purple, but that'll match because it's shabby. Sent you a message. Uh-oh, Lorna sent me a message now. Let's see. All right, you sent me a YouTube for something. Okay. Yes, with the butterfly. Then I can be a Grinch and come steal all your ornaments. <laughs> Got to go, Laurel. I was just taking a break. I'm making... All righty, Rose. Have a good Christmas. Thanks for coming in. I know. I just can't hear you. You're right. But I don't know. I Sometimes I craft better when I talk out loud. Um, crackle medium on napkin, Laurel. Oh yeah, that would, I said my mind is going, I need about 80 of these just to cover my tree completely in these. Cause now they're starting, this is what I said I wanted to do, but I said, remember, I don't want to just keep adding stuff, but now my mind's going, now they're going to start getting dimensional. Maybe a couple little flowers, right? Flowers? Yes, I love tamales, especially homemade tamales. So let's get some string through these. Let's find the end. I see the end. Just got to grab the end. All right, and let's cut this. So I don't need them all really long. Although, I should probably put it through first, then tie it, then cut. Right? That would make sense. All right, so down this way, and up this way. Uh-oh, I'm like having much difficulty hanging on to things lately. Like I was explaining earlier, all of a sudden my hands aren't working, and my thumb, this thumb, I mean, you can see how bad it's like going like this, and it's so swollen and it's so sore. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I need to tat and I need to crochet and I need my thumbs. They're kind of really important. I don't know what's going on, but it's really starting to bother me. And when it gets really cold, like this week, it was so cold. Of course, it's gorgeous today because we don't have work. Um, but it was really cold. And I go in and out of cold vehicles, so it's like warm, cold, warm. My hands were hurting so bad. I'm just like, come on. And I can't quit fussy cutting and, and all that stuff I love to do. I, I would just, oh, no. <laughs> there we go. See a little string in there? Makes a world of difference. Let's do another one. I'm going to go down through the top and up through the bottom. And I know I'm not in frame, but I'm just trying to put the string through this button, ladies. i got to have it, like, up close and personal so I can see. Because, you know, I'm going blind, too, because I can't see nothing. I swear, it's like every six months now I need glasses. Forget every year. I need them, like, every six months. Like, within six months, I feel like I can't see again. You're gonna, guys are going to see me working with a big giant magnifying glass over my desk pretty soon just so I can see everything I'm doing. All right. There's that one. See, much easier that way. You waste less thread that way. That one and this one. And I think I'm going to put this down and then push this into the triple thick, and then push these into the triple thick. So, But I think I'm going to put the lace underneath it. You said that too, Arthur. Oh, don't say that, Susan. <laughs> I'm, I'm 
I don't, I, to me, I think I'm too young for that yet, but I just started a new cholesterol medicine. And I'm telling you, I think this is why I went off it last time. I, I truly believe that half these medicines they put us on cause a dozen other issues. And I'm telling you, it makes my eyesight go bad and it makes the onset of arthritis come a lot faster. Oh yeah, Pearl's been here. She's probably crafting, but she's quietly listening too. She's been popping in now and again. Oh, I can't get this knot tied. Making me crazy. Making me crazy. All right. Tie that one. And tie this one. All right. We got that one. And we'll cut this side this side ah, come on cut all right yep there we go so that's that and then i want to figure out maybe maybe a doily over here with some beads let's see let's see let's see what we can do my little doilies i don't want to really i don't want to lose my butterfly i really like my butterfly maybe with just a bead cluster then with a couple of beads. It's so weird because four is my favorite number, but I know three and five are appealing to the eye. <laughs> I learned that a while ago. And it actually, I do notice when I look back at projects, um, it definitely looks better with three or five than with two or four. So I'm going to get, um, what did we say? What were we saying a minute ago? Because I want to get up and get it. Now it just, Wow, it just jumped right out of my head. Um, pearls, pearls. Oh, flowers. Oh, my goodness. Side effects. Yes, exactly. Side effects. Exactly, Sandra. Rotten side effects. That's what I got to say. No, nothing good. That's for sure. All right, let's get um, some little flowers. As soon as I can. Where is my tote with all my stuff? I'm like, I've lost my mind here. here we go. little flowers with a little bling in them or I can use these which ones do you think are these too dark do you think that's too dark I really like these these are my chaos for you flowers so those or these so a or b one more time thank you Nikki it's patty 15 for the cold through midnight tonight Lorna we ship to Canada a or B, and these are a very light lilac or lavender. They're not white. A, so I got one A and one B. As I lose more weight, they are taking me off more. That is awesome, Kathy. So two A's, one B, two A's, two B's, three A's, two B's, four A's, two B's. All right, I think it's going to be A. We could actually put. One B and two A's. We could do that. Both. There you go, show. Is this an auction? <laughs> no, 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 no auction, Lorna. I know. I should have probably done that a little differently, huh? I don't want to get everyone confused. Wait. Is there an auction going on we don't know about? All right. I can find what I'm looking for half the time. See, because I didn't plan on dragging all this stuff out tonight. So we're going to do this one. We're going to leave a little bit of edge on it because we're going to push it right into the triple thick. So we'll do two A's and a B. How about that? We'll see how that looks. I really, really, really like these. Can you tell I really, really like them? All right. So we can do like, I just can't hang on to nothing. Let's see. Get that doily on there. All 
I want the doily underneath the triple thick though. So let's see how we can work this. This one's got to go this way. Turn it this way. Put these up here. All right. Oh my gosh. And then we'll put some pearls in there. What do you think? Kind of like that, ladies? I know you can't really see it. It'll be a little straighter when I get the stuff together. More. Ma That's right, Shell. Where's Michelle when you need her in her timer? <laughs> All right, so I like that. But I want this up a little higher because I don't want to lose that butterfly. And then maybe we'll just come down here with a couple of pearls. So let's move these over a sec. I love this one. This one's so cute. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I wonder if that would look better. It's got more of the purples in it but it's going to go underneath anyway, so it's okay. So we're going to just lightly tack those down with some glue, and then we'll put the triple thick over those, and then the buttons and stuff we're going to kind of push into it, and this we're going to push into it, and then we'll move this, and this is going to... So let's get a little bit of glue, although I wonder if I should use Mod Podge. Hmm, where's my Mod Podge? I don't know if that's going to hold that doily down, though. I just don't want to mix a bunch of weird stuff together. All right, let's put a little bit of glue here. Look at how delicate that is, how tiny. Look at those teeny tiny stitches. That's like done with thread. I just need a little bit to hold it down till I get the triple thick on, because that's actually going to be under, and I'm going to let that one hang over a little bit like that. Like that. There we go. And then we'll get this one down which is the right side. So we're just going to tack this down a little. See? All this work and... What is this, our third one? <laughs> hey, it's better than not getting any done. I usually never get anything done. So we're going to leave that hang off a little bit too, just that corner. Then we're going to put the triple thick over this stuff. Uh-oh, something went wrong. Did I go out, ladies? Or is that just my iPad? Oh, please tell me that's my iPad and I'm still here. Am I still here? Thank you. Phew! My iPad all of a sudden said something went wrong. <laughs> all right, so let's get the triple thick down. This is going to be a little bit tougher now. Thank you, Lorna. All right, let's find the right brush. Where's my triple thick brush right here? All right. You are good. Phew. I was going to panic for a second. All right. Let's get this on top of here. Hopefully it goes over it. I really needed it to go under it too, probably, to hold it down, right? Right? That would only make sense. Yep, I definitely need some new triple thick. Because now I'm going to be wanting to play with it. One project at a time, Laurel. All right. All right. Well, let's go over to the other side. Should probably put it under here too. And then push it. There we go. Just because I don't want it to lift it up if it has nothing to stick to. There we go. I think I bought this and I used my 50% off coupon because it is a little spendy. But when you use your coupon, it's a good deal. Those coupons are important. It's a little thicker there. Wow, yeah, this stuff is like really thick. Holy cow. But it, at least it still levels itself out. That's what I was worried about. We are conditioned. Nine, nine million dollars? What? We are at Patty and Laurel's auction. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas too. That's not going to happen. I dozed and dang when I opened my eyes. Oh, you're fine, Victoria. All right. One more little spot and then we'll start putting stuff, some stuff into it. I think I'm going to need it a little bit thicker up at the top and then we'll put the glass glitter over it. So I think I need a little bit thicker up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Chill out, Laurel. Take your time. Yeah, this stuff is like drying like so quick. All right. I mean, like it's sticking to everything. All right, let's get that. So let's get our other piece that we're going to push in here. Kind of crookedy. So glass glitter is not going to be able to go here now. How am I going to push those buttons in? I'm going to have to layer some more on now. I just put my brush in the water. I got a song on LP that a uh, wolf of the wolf has never heard. Way cool. I love Christmas. I love Christmas too. Definitely my favorite holiday. It's just the Christmas season I really love. I really love the Christmas season. All right. Let's see here. I like that sticking up like that. It kind of looks cool. Where's my buttons? And we'll get a button here. And this one. And this one. There we go. And then we need our flowers. So we're going to do the purple in the center. And we're going to try. And we're going to do these two white ones on the end. Are these two lavender ones at the end. Let's push them all down in there. Ugh. All right. Well, no DNA here. We don't want DNA in the project. All right. So that's that. Love the butterfly in there. And then we need some the pearls. But these need to be in a specific direction because I don't want the little holes on the front. So I'm just going to Put that there. Wow. This one. I know I have purple ones. I just don't want to get up and look for them right now. Oh, that I know I have purple ones. I do have purple ones. Oh, I do have little ones right up here. See? Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, good. I thought more I had glossy accents. All right, get this last one on, and then maybe we'll put three more of the little ones. Oh, my gosh. All right, so let's go up here. I have some right here. I need to get the rest of these shelves moved, then I'll know where stuff is, right? These are darker, so that's going to look cool. So let's do some tiny ones. Let's go, like, here. Here, here, like that. There we go. There. Then, of course, we'll decorate around here. Santa sent me early because he is so hussy. Three new jammies and aww. Oh my goodness, Nikki. Seriously? <laughs> oh. If you want snow, you have to take all eight months of it. No skipping. <laughs> right. Why is your Santa a hussy, Martha? <laughs> I was wondering the same thing, but I wasn't going to say anything. All right. How, do you, how does that one look? Wait. Oh, we got to do the glass yet. I'm like, wait, something's missing from this This picture here. Let's close this up, get it out of our way. All right, let's get this in the water. Let's get our plate. 
and our glass. It's just not that much fun to play with. Oh, this is going to go all over the dangles. I don't want this glass all over the dangles. Hold on, guys. I got to... Let's see if I can do this without making it pop. Oh, I see the, a danger happening. Oh, how am I going to open this now? Shoot. Like that. Hold on. Well, I got most of it. Oh, I feel glass or something on here. Let's move this. Because I just, I do not want it all over the dangles. So we're going to put this in this way. Like that. So it, I don't get it on the dangles too much. I hate it when glass gets on my dangles. <laughs> Me too, Susan. I don't want no stinking glass on my dangles. Because I just worry with glass. It just kind of goes everywhere. All right. Pull it up this way. All right. And there we go. And it'll look pretty when I get the edging around here. Isn't that pretty? I know you can't see through it right now, but when it dries, you will but it's really pretty. You can see the, the flowers in there very faint, but it's got a lot of drying to do yet. <laughs> it's going to dry looking like glass. But yeah, I like it. I think that's pretty. I love these dangles on here. I think that looks so pretty. We might have to make a really pretty uh, flowery um, Hanger instead of using the holes. What did I miss? Don't wipe that with your fingers. Looks like a cookie. Shell is the safety director. Yes, she is. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Yeah, I, I, I was wiping it very careful. Aw, thanks, Nikki. Looks like one dangle broke. Yeah, it's just the end piece. I just have to glue it up at the top. It's okay. You might could use a little tiny doily for the. There you go, Susan. Great idea. Yes, I'm going to do edging on all of them, Shell. And I'm going to do the other sides too. But I can't, I can only do one side at a time because this glass glitter, um, this triple thick and the glass glitter has to dry. So that's why I'm working on one side at a time. But yeah, I like that one. I think it's pretty. I think they're all pretty. Let's close this over this. I must not have closed it tight. That's why I was able to open one, one hand. But see, these little glass pieces, they're like jumping everywhere. I can see them all over my desk. And that's what worries me. And then I'm going to step on it. And it's going to get in your feet. And you're not going to be able to see it. And yeah. No, I'll be no good. So let's move this. All right. So what should we do with this one? Let's see. Let's see if I can get an idea here. Here's my papers. I really like this with the writing on it. Again, I started with napkins and now I'm doing paper. But I think I'm going to do paper and then I'm going to put a napkin on one side. But 
I think that's really, isn't that pretty? I think that's going to look really pretty. Yes, I do, Nikki. Sandy's like, do that one in purple. <laughs> I could have swore they were all in purple, but yep, it's going to be purple. They're all going to be purple for my tree. Yes, this is that same paper, Nikki, but a different piece. And I'm trying to remember what it's called, but I used it when I made my, um, that slow stitch book that I made with the slow stitch cover. You need someone to make you dinner. Oh, they went to the movies and left you, Lorna. Good night, Julia. Thank you for coming in. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to go, no, because it's got to be upright. So, let's go like this. Because the writing can go like that. So, let's go from the back. So, this is the front. Oh, look. Should we use the purple side? With the writing with white? Or should we use the white with the purple? Which one? Purple with white writing or white with purple writing? What do you think? I know, Nikki. She's making me tr crazy. I did not want to go. Aw, thanks, Lorna. Yeah, you can have some cookies. Yes, these are going to look awesome on my purple tree. Yep, that too is a good idea. I'm just going to be very careful just because I know there's little pieces of glass there. White with purple, purple with white. Oh, no, here we go again. <laughs> purple. So the purple paper with the white writing or the white purple, white paper with the purple writing. Although it's not white, it's still lavender. But this one has dark writing. And then this side has the purple with the white writing. White with purple writing. The white writing won't show when you put down the napkin. You're right. Good idea. Thank you. I think I will do it this way. So we're going to do this. This is the top. And we're going to trace this. Smart thinking there, Louise. All right. And we'll cut that out. With my fussy cutting scissors. They just happen to be nearby and handy, so that's what I'm using. Yeah, I really like this paper. I used it all throughout this um, thing. That this, What did I call it? A tag flip book? Seems like forever ago that I made that. So pretty. Because it's all in purples. All right. I probably should have used a bigger scissors. All right, there we go. So we can move that now. All right, right with purple. There we go. And then we got to decide which napkin, what piece of the napkin we want to use. Let's see. Let's bring your napkins over here. I think I know which one. Oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff just like all. Oh, see you guys getting going. I got a million things laying all over. I think it's going to be. No, I could use just a, this one and use just this piece of this flower. I think. I think that's going to look pretty. I think I'm going to do that. So we're going to cut that flower out. And see now this one, the white, the backing's coming right off and there's no picture on it. I like it when the picture comes through on the white part. So we're going to cut that little piece out. Because I'm not going to cover, I'm not going to use the whole napkin. I just want a piece of it. We'll do a little bit better fussy cutting once I get it cut out of here. All right. I think I only have one. Oh, no, I have a whole full pack of that one. All of that one, too. I love all my napkins. There's just like about a million gazillion things you can do with napkins. 
Listen to me, that was a good word. A million gazillion. All right, let's fold this one back up. All right. That's the best way to learn. Make these short, simple sentences. Oh, well, we have my dog Smenna too. Oh, lasagna. Oh, don't say that, Nikki. That is my most favorite food of all time. Oh, go make some soup, Lorna. Enjoy. All right, so we're going to put this on here. I'm going to have it coming over the edge, so I just need to cut out some of this white. I'm just going to do some basic fussy cutting here. And I know you can do this with um, a brush and water, and it won't look so um, harsh. But once we get on the glass glitter and stuff, it won't be anyway, so it'll be okay. Should we add anything to this one or just leave this one? So, and then I'll just leave it up there because we'll just cut that off when I'm done. So I think that's going to look pretty on just the one side like that. We'll even turn it a little more. So yeah, that'll look pretty. So let's get this one glued down. Bilingual dog. Now that's funny. <laughs> lasagna is my ultimate most favorite food. I think the last time I made homemade lasagna was when I was 20. And I'm very particular about my lasagna. I don't like watery lasagna. I love the top. Super crispy and crunchy like that chewy crunchy. When the noodles get like that. Oh. All right, let's get our Mod Podge on. Oh, I, oh, don't even say that, Nikki. You're making me hungry. <laughs> I want some lasagna now. I can't have it because Nikki isn't here. She's far away. All right. Boy, this wood really soaks up that Mod Podge really quick. All right. Let's get paper down. I should do one all napkin collage too. Just layer the napkins on top of each other. Hey, get over there. And we're going to let this dry and then we're going to distress this one again. And put the napkin piece on. And then what can we put on this side? Got to put something, got to do something different. What can we do over there? Put your initial in that one, Laurel. Ooh. I do have a little charm that's really pretty with my initial. That would look really pretty. Um, oh, my gosh. Where would that be? <laughs> I think it's in with my medals right here. Let me see. I'll show you guys if I can find it. Hopefully, it is right here because I don't know where it went the last time I looked, but we'll look and see if it's here. I do have one. It's a really dainty charm, and it has an L in it. But, you know, when you want something, you never find it. It's just how it works. And it would look really pretty in there. These would even look pretty on here if we put some of these on one of them. I think that would look cool. Oh, look at that. And I know I just saw it not too long ago. Oh. I wonder where it could be. But I do have it. It's just an L. So pretty. It's not in this one. Mm. Some wings on one would look pretty too. See? Oh, oh, oh the pearl idea, Laurel. Use skinny ribbon or pearls to hang that with. Yeah, exactly. 
All right, let's put this all back in here. Great ideas, ladies. All right. Let's see if it's in one of these. It's got to be in one of these. So I usually keep all my metals together, but who knows? It could be in another drawer somewhere, which is possible. I'll have everything out before the night's over. I'll be putting a ton of things away here. I'm going to look at one more place that I think it might be. There's this drawer. Let's see if it may be in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to look in here because there's nothing in this drawer. Yeah. Of course, because I want it. Could be in with my jewelry somewhere, too. But it would have been perfect on here. I knew where it was. Yeah. It's not in here right now. And I don't have time to really search through this whole thing. But I could do it in... Um, I have like these cardboard cutouts that are letters. Let's see, I also have letters like this, but it would have to go underneath. And I'm not sure if you would see it on the triple thick. Like, where's the L? An L? That would be pretty. I could put it right on top of the triple thick. I know something fell over here. You guys got me going crazy now. Yes, those. Yes, what, Shelva? All oh, these silver things? Yeah. Purple side. Oh, I think you have a really bad lag, Linda. <laughs> so one there and one there. I like those. I like those. That's boring. That's a boring L. Thanks, Shell. I don't think I have an exciting L in anything. I'm trying to think here. I don't think I have an exciting L. Um, God, I wish I knew where that was right now. I don't. <laughs> And it would be perfect for this project. So I may have to let this one sit until I find it because now I've got my mind on using that. And it may be in with my jewelry stuff somewhere. So I may not be putting the triple thick on here because... That's a boring L. Hey, it's an L. I think it's cool. Oh, you're no fun, girl. Boring L. You know I have other letters somewhere. I have lots of letters somewhere. It's just a matter of the minute you want to do something, nothing is where you want it. Isn't that always the case? All of a sudden, you can't think of where anything is. A little more fancy. Yeah, I'm thinking. Um, I would almost have to make an L out of something. Hmm. I'll have to think a little bit. Because I don't think I have an L in anything. I'm looking around my room trying to get an idea. Where would an L be? Hold on one sec.
and the rules are too boring. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to look around because now you got me wanting to put an L on here. But I'm definitely putting those on here. I like those. And this napkin's still gonna go on here. So we're gonna distress this one. Don't think about it, Laurel. Let me look. Oh, okay. That's right. I forgot she has a craft room right over there, too. <laughs> and for anybody wondering that didn't hear me, yes, these are all purple because um, I'm getting this purple flocked Christmas tree with purple lights. And it's going to have purple ornaments all over it. Aw, thanks, Susan. Thanks for coming in. Miss J, I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you have a very wonderful um, Merry Christmas and an awesome New Year. Aw, nice. Well, that means you're putting lots of goodies all over it, Susan. Which, when I'm sitting here by myself, trust me, uh, it will become a major ordeal. I'm trying to think quickly because you guys are sitting here watching and I don't want to get one heart done in a bunch of hours. So, um. I'm trying to craft a little faster. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna at least get this on with the Mod Podge. We can do that. So we're gonna put that flower on. Love that the writing's going on an angle like that. Put that right there. There we go. There we go. And let's see, it's eight sixteen, five, six, seven, eight. I've been on three hours. I know there's a bunch of you here, but I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter. I don't want them um, too long because then, you know, I think it people just get don't want to watch. So I don't want to make them too overly long. Um, I think I may have a, a stamp or something, but Shell's also looking. So I'll figure it out. I am going to put an L on here, but these are going to go on this one as well. I just think they're, I love these things. I think they're really pretty. And we'll figure out some other stuff to decorate this up with as well. But yeah, I got three of them done. So, well, not done, done, but got three of them started. This one's really pretty. Love it. Maybe I can make an L out of clay. So let's get this stuff out of the way. And this one, maybe we could put wings on it. I like the wings. And then this one, which I really love, too. I love this dangly one. So, yeah, so we're, you know, not too bad. Can't wait to do the other sides and the sides of them. They're going to look really pretty. But I will make sure if I don't film it that I come back on and do a video with them um, all finished. Oh, no worries, Shell. So thank you all for coming in. I really appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. It was awesome getting on a little earlier today. Um, and you will for sure see me over the holiday, um, cause I'll be home for, for two weeks. So you'll, you'll see me on here. So I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year. And I'm sure I'll see some of you before then and some of you after that. So thank you all for coming in. I, ho I hope you all have a great night and I will see you all soon. Bye for now. Don't forget to get out there and create something.